from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello and good morning. I'm James Tully. Shea Ryan has your full weather forecast in a moment. First, though, here are your headlines. If you have not returned your vote by mail ballot yet, don't put it in the mail now. The Postal Service has been trying to get 95% of first class mail delivered within five days, but the latest national average is about 10 points shy of that. And good news for the Bay Area, the middle of the state doing a bit better at 86%, but North and South Florida are below the national average. Postal Service representatives say that they've approved overtime for staff and scheduled extra pickup and extra delivery trips. If you still have your ballot, drop it off at an official ballot box. You can find the locations of those on abcactionnews.com slash vote. One Florida superintendent says he'd like the state to think about not assigning school grades this year due to the pandemic. The Seminole County Public School Superintendent sent a letter to the Florida Education Commissioner arguing that this year's school grades might not reflect students and schools' actual achievements, especially considering the unique challenges of this year. A Bay Area College is one of the first in the state to test dorm wastewater for COVID-19. Ringling College in Sarasota working with VHB Gulf Coast to test sewage water in its biggest dorms. A sample is collected and sent to a testing facility. Within a couple of days, they get the results. The idea is to catch the virus early before students may show any symptoms. So far, all the tests have come back negative. If there is a positive sample, then everyone in the dorm will be tested. Sarasota's University Town Center Mall is suing one of its biggest stores, saying it owes seven months of back rent. The lawsuit claims that Saks Fifth Avenue owes more than $400,000 in past due rent. The mall temporarily closed in March because of the pandemic, but Saks reopened in May along with several other stores. The Tampa Bay Rowdies have a chance to bring home the United Soccer League championship this weekend. It's their first shot at the title since joining the league three years ago. The game against Phoenix is set for this Sunday night. Al Lang Stadium already sold out with a socially distant crowd of 1,500 fans. Go Rowdies. Now here's Shea Ryan with your forecast. Yeah, and today we're certainly going to notice some differences. The more we move through the day, the more of a difference we're going to uh, notice because of the fact that the drier uh, air is working its way in throughout the day. So we're going to struggle to get those temps back up into the mid to upper 70s throughout the afternoon. Even with lots of sunshine, the lower humidity and that cooler air coming in behind the front is going to limit the temps quite a bit. So again, we're going to watch them just gradually come up into the mid to upper 70s. 70s with lots of sunshine, near zero chance for rain, and then through the weekend we'll have a gradual warm up here into the mid 80s and then come back down into early next week.